All right, hello, this is Andy. I'm going to show you today how to use Google Cloud Print, which is a great um, tool to use for uh, printing from mobile devices or printing from anywhere to a, a specific printer. Like, for instance, if I had a printer in my classroom connected to my classroom computer and I was at a district meeting and my kids needed something I could print um, from my iPad or my iPhone or a Nexus tablet, Chromebook, whatever, uh, as long as it uses the uh, Chrome browser. So there's a couple ways to get there. The first one um, would be to click on your apps button on your Google main page, which would be just google.com when you're signed in. And you click on it, you get the apps that you use most often, I guess. And go to more, and then go to even more, and it's going to take you to all the apps that you have at your disposable. disposal. And then scroll all the way down to the home and office section, and down here you'll see Google Cloud Print. When you click on this, it's going to take you to this main kind of page or whatever. Um, this is a beta, so just be wary of that. You say try it now. And when you do that, it's going to bring up printers that you already have um, connected to through Google Cloud Print. In this case, I already had these ones connected, so um, it's going to show me those. I want to manage printers because today I'm going to add one. So I'm going to click on that, and it takes me to this screen, which again shows all my printers I have. I can go to add a cloud ready printer which would be a printer that has network connection or says it's cloud ready um, or add a classic printer and that's what I'm going to do today because this is kind of useful for those of us that don't have the nice fancy um, printers. So I would click on that and it's going to take me to this page. This page is going to give me the instructions which is the other way to go about doing this um, which involves going into your Chrome browser. So I'm going to come up here to my options in my Chrome browser which is in the top right corner. I'm going to scroll down to settings and when I get to settings I need to go all the way to the bottom. I'm going to show my advanced settings and I'm going to keep going down until I see Google Cloud Print. <clears throat> so again I'll manage and there we go. Um, in this case these are the ones that I already have. I'm going to disconnect them just for the moment so that I get this add button I want to add what's available to me now. So this is going to check on my computer and see all the printers that I have connected to this particular print or computer, excuse me. Now today I don't want to add any of these other things, so I'm going to click them all off. I just want to add these four that I actually use on a regular basis here. Um, there's another option down here that says automatically register new printers I connect. So if I were to add a printer to my computer later on, it would automatically bring them into Google Cloud Print. I don't want to do that right at this moment, but that's an option that you have. When I've selected the printers that I want, I say Add Printers, and there you go. I'm going to click on Manage Your Printers again, and now it's going to show me. For whatever reason, it just showed me this one, um, but I did this earlier, and it showed all the other ones when I went to actually print something. Um, so one nice thing, though, is that with most Google things, you can share. Um, this is a green share button. I don't know why it's different, but... If I wanted to share this, I could share this to my students' account, um, individual students, other teachers, whatever. We don't actually have um, Google accounts for all of our kids just yet, so my kids use a shared account that I created. Um, and so I'll click on that and I'll say share. And now when my kids log on to their Nexus tablets or their Chromebooks, they can print um, to this particular printer. Um, this also works on a desktop. Really anything that you're running Chrome, it'll print and it'll show that printer as an option. So, how do I use it? Well, if I go to my drive, I'm just going to click on this picture from one of our Minecraft experiences. I go up to print, <clears throat> and this works from any of them. You can control print or control shift print, whatever. Well, control shift print will print, print from the actual computer, but control print, control P will bring that up. When I come up here, I have my destinations for my printing. I'm going to change that. And now I see all the local things, which are the things that are directly connected to my computer. But down here, I see my Google Cloud Print. So I can click on whatever pr printer I want to use at this time and go ahead and say Print. Um, so this is really nice because, again, you know, I can print from anywhere. Um, I can print to my school computer from home. As long as the computer that's connected to the local printer is on and connected to the internet, it'll print. If it's not, I believe as soon as you turn it on, it will print whatever it was you sent the night before or whenever. A couple of things though is it is kind of slow. It does take about 10 to 15 minutes to actually print, sometimes longer. 
um, depending on, I guess, network traffic or whatever. But if you consider where it's coming from um, and how much has to happen between you clicking print and it actually printing, there's, it's understandable. Um, yeah, so there you go. Um, I hope you found this useful, and good luck. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to email me. All right, bye-bye.